Hey, hey, thanks for slithering in and welcome back to my channel. I am Simdarin and this is a speed build in The Sims 4 and it's my very first build with the Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack. So I'm really excited to share with you. I adore this build and I adore this pack. So before I get into what I feel and stuff, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you loving it? Are you waiting? Are you enjoying the gameplay to build by? All of it. I want to hear it all. So with the new expansion pack, we got a new world called San Sequoia. And in that world, the general architecture style, I believe, I guess you can say, is the craftsman style. So of course, that's what I had to go with here. And who knew? I don't think I've ever built in this kind of style, but who knew that I loved it so much? Honestly, I had no idea. Or maybe I built in it before and just didn't know that it was a craftsman style because my knowledge of architecture is little to none, to be honest. So I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I think I actually keep most of the floor plan in. I think I kept almost everything in, uh, which is very odd and strange for me because usually with the floor, floor plan, I stop recording because I feel like that's too much pressure because I I hate doing floor plans guys um, and I despise floor plans <laughs> but anyway we are yeah I think this general shape now is pretty much together and I just I don't know I love this pack I love the windows I love the doors I do have some complaints. So for doors, I wish we got like interior type doors, right? Because all the doors that come with this pack are good for, you know, entrance, exit doors, all that stuff. And then the archway we have would be good indoors, but there's no like door leading to like, other rooms in the house. Does that make sense? Well, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already and then ring the bell to be notified of the next one. Do all the things. I am so close to 900 subscribers and would love to reach that before my birthday, which is the day after this video is being released. So, if you could, you know, make a birthday girl super, super happy, I would appreciate it. But obviously, no, no pressure either. I don't, I'm not here to force anyone. I don't want to make anyone feel bad. I just want you guys to hang out and, you know, do your thing. Whatever makes you happy. But here we are now in the process of changing up the colors that I chose. First, I was going for like, the red doors and windows and with the white trimmings and things but we are going to change that like pretty much now i think that's what we're working on anyway the wallpapers in this pack are gorgeous i love the textures and especially that stone that i used here on the chimney stacks that's my new favorite stone. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to not use it on anything. So there's that. Also the tile we get. We get two tile wallpapers. We got the chevron pattern and then we have like this classy half tiled wall, which I, I love. Oh my God. There are so many good things in this pack, guys. Um, and I'm not here to sell you on it, but I... I'd recommend it. I would say it's probably up there in my top five for sure. Maybe even top three, but it's also still pretty new. So we'll give it some time. Sorry if this voiceover feels a little spacey and maybe slower than usual, which wouldn't surprise me because sometimes my voiceovers are a little spacey and slow, but... I'm recording this earlier than I usually do, and I didn't get much sleep last night because I was finishing up this build, but I wanted to make sure 
I got this out this weekend, so, you know, to maximize the hype of the pack, which I don't typically tend to be able to do. I was off work this week, this week, so I had all the time in the world, and who needs sleep when you don't have to go to work? But I have to go back to work on Monday, and I'm not looking forward to it, but that's not why we're here. I was just pretty much saying that I have only had a couple sips of coffee, and yeah, still trying to wake up because I do have some errands and things to run today. So I wanted to make sure I got this completed. Also, I did stream on Twitch a few times this week, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, we did some gameplay, started playing with the new infants, which they are adorable. So let me know how you're enjoying that free update. And... And then we did some more building in San Sequoia uh, the other day. And that, I hope, will be eventually a speed build. We're not finished with it yet. But we are doing like a whole different style for that build. We're going more of the modern route because we do have some beautiful windows that I didn't think would fit in this build, but I wanted to use them. I was itching to use them so bad. Anyway, the swing set, gorgeous, right? And all of the kid clutter. And I want to talk about a little bit what I did in this driveway. So in the driveway, I think it's pretty common, at least in my experience, to see like a family house with lots of toys in the yard and just things all over the place. I mean, I think I grew up in that kind of sense. So it just feels so homey and wholesome and lived in right so that's what I did in this driveway and I do end up putting a pickup truck which isn't necessarily convenient for a big family but I'll explain that here I decided that I wanted to take the wall decors like right here with the balloons and then some of these guys and laid them down on the ground manipulated with tool by twisted mess oops, twisted mexi and I was like, it's chalk. The kids are drawing chalk, like, because kids do that, you know? I thought this was the cutest touch, and I don't know, maybe someone's done it before, but I was kind of, like, patting my own back. But here, it's all complete with the toys and the clutter and the truck. So the truck, I also put a woodworking bench in the backyard, or it's like a side yard. Um, so I imagined the father was or is some kind of carpenter or does some kind of like work in that sense if that makes sense I think that makes sense so yeah I thought that was fun I also love these chairs they're perfect for outdoor but I put this table down from the outdoor kids pack campers kit that that and I remembered we have actually a table that you can use for games and puzzles and stuff. So I opted to switch out and put that. I also put a little uh, dog toy chest here. I imagine this family would have maybe a small to medium sized dog. And then these storage things. I, is that from Batu? Those might be from Batu. And then, of course, these planters in the corner here that are not separated. I... Which really sucks. Those are pretty, pretty planters. And now we're moving on to the interior. I actually started with the nursery first. So this is kind of going to go a little backwards. But I imagine that this nursery is on the first floor. And maybe it used to be like the office or the work from home space kind of thing. And then they had, this family had like an oopsie. Uh, so they, I imagine they already had two daughters and then they have this third kid. It was like surprise so I end up not keeping any office furniture in here and I move it to the like hallway space upstairs but I imagine like this was the office and then yeah once I put down this wallpaper it was it was a done deal but in here you have everything you need for a newborn and an infant and then you can switch out that crib I'm sure for a toddler bed pretty easily and yeah, you have the changing table and stuff. All of these items are so cute. So I think I've been so into building nurseries that now when I 
try and do a kid's room, I'm like, what do I do here? Like, I have no idea. Because before we used to have nothing for babies, right? But there was enough stuff for kids. And now I feel like all of this new baby stuff is just... I can't do anything for kids anymore. So yeah, this room is full of baby things from the new pack from the update these tree decors are so adorable oh my god oh, but i definitely tried to go with more of like a animal woodland creature kind of vibe so i hope you guys like it but we're just gonna keep cluttering it up i'm right now i'm looking for a dresser that fits i end up going with two of these tiny living dressers which reminds me i did not limit my pack usage for this build I, if you guys are new around here, then I guess I should let you know I don't like limiting my packs, but I have been starting to a little bit more. Uh, it's been a fun challenge, you know, I've been building for a while and sometimes you just need that extra little push to use items that maybe you don't gravitate towards. So I have been doing more of that lately, but... This one, I just went all out because it was my first time using the pack. Anyway, now we have moved on into the bathroom because I was so excited to use the new sink and bathtub combo. But first, we're getting the toilet in and I'm filling this basket up with toilet paper. And I got this idea because this is actually what I have in my house. Um, I literally have like a wicker basket on top of my toilet where I store extra toilet paper. So... That's a little nod, but this bathtub shower combo is to die for. Like It's so pretty, and I'm going to hang some towels on the side here. And I don't know, I really like it. And I really like how all the brown tones kind of went together in here. And now in this section, we are taking this new mirror that we got. And I love the mirrors in this pack too. All the items, okay? All the items, I love them. But I rotated it to go landscape, I guess you can call it. Um, horizontal. And just kind of to switch it up and do something a little different. And then we're just going to put a little clutter, not too much clutter. Um, of course, we got the bathroom clutter kit. I actually did use this hair dryer, but... I tried to hide the cord a little bit because we know that does not look very pleasant. So I tried to make it busy enough over there where it doesn't really bother. I also did very well in remembering to put light switches in every room of this build. So proud of myself and the base game ones too because I keep forgetting we have them. Here we are now into the living room. So this is where you enter into when you walk into the house. And I'm picking out some better wallpaper, so of course I'm using this chevron tile again, and I'm matching it with this paint. I think the color tones kind of work together. They're almost similar, or almost like perfectly similar. So yeah, now we're just going to figure out the layout. This couch is so pretty and looks so comfy, but I also wanted to make sure we put an extra crib in here. This is the one your sims can pack up in their inventory and take with them. So I imagine it moves around, but it usually stays right there. This way, like the family can watch TV and the baby can play in its little crib and you know, good old wholesome cuteness. I also, I love this bookshelf, but I have a complaint about this too. We have two of them in the whole catalog, two. And the only difference is the book clutter on the bookshelf, right? It it makes no sense and I know it's like, look, we are limited or the team is limited to how much they can actually put in each pack, whether it's a game pack, expansion pack, stuff pack, right? I've heard this before. So why give us two of the same thing, which is different book clutter? Why not just give us one thing and maybe not as much clutter built into it so that we can clutter it up on our own and then have full free customization that way. Like, that that 
really grinds my gears a little bit. But this stand-up piano, isn't it pretty? I went with like a basic swatch for this build and probably my next build too. Um, at least the one we were doing on stream because it just didn't match the vibes, but I can't wait to do a more colorful, like popped poppy build or whatever. So I can't wait. Also with that being said, I do have some builds kind of pre-recorded that will not have the growing together pack. I know it's sad. But like I said, I was on vacation this week, so I was trying to get a lot of stuff or as much as I could pre-recorded and scheduled and ready to go because there may be or there's probably some travel in my near future for work and which means it's going to be a little harder for me to go week by week making content. Um, I'm hoping it's not too much travel but there's going to be some travel and I just want to be prepared for it when it does come. So I think this week off kind of came at a perfect time. So yeah, there's going to be a few videos coming up with out the pack and I know there's a few voiceovers I still have to do. So I'm sure I'll explain it again. So I'm sorry if I repeat myself over and over and over again. Here we're in the kitchen and Okay, I have an unpopular opinion. So I've seen a lot of people hating on the new fridge and stove that we got. And I have to say, I love them. They might be my favorite items in the pack. And let me tell you why. My dream in real life kitchen is those appliances. My dream is to have like a vintage, classy, powder blue, literally the power. I want all my appliances to be powder blue. It doesn't have to be maybe, but some of it has to be because I like that. I really like that color in kitchens. I don't ask me, I don't know why, but that's what one of my coffee makers was. I have a new one, it's black now, but my KitchenAid is powder blue like I don't know, right? I don't know. So yeah, that's that's pretty much that, right? So I love the style of this fridge and the stove. And I get why people don't because it's really hard to match it with some counters and cabinets, but I think they go pretty well with Dream Home Decorator. So I haven't tried them with anything else yet. Now we have skipped to the upstairs. I At this point, I already did the hallway, so I did not record that. Be, or maybe I didn't do the hallway yet. Either way, I don't do the hallway on camera, but I do all the bedrooms, right? So here's the parents' bedrooms. They are the lucky ones with a nice balcony. I did put that archway onto the balcony, but it was like, uh, they might want some privacy sometimes. So I merged it with a snowy escape door, which later I realized there's a whole gap on the top. And yeah, that was hard, but it I left it. So sorry. Anyway, these end tables from the high school year pack, I think really goes well with the style of this bed. I didn't like the other end tables that came with the pack very much, at least not when pairing it with this bed. So I was pretty happy with this and then I changed the wallpaper to give the room a little more life because sometimes that plain wallpaper, especially in a bedroom, doesn't work for me. That could just be me. Oh, we also have all of these picture frames that you can fill with your Sims memories and things and pictures. I did not fill any of them up for this build. So if you do choose to download it and play in it, it is in the gallery, my idea is Simnerin, and this way you can just get started and start filling up all of these empty picture frames because they are everywhere, downstairs, upstairs, yada, yada, yada. I also wanted to make sure there were plenty of woohoo spots in this build because I think that's the whole point. So we do have that walk-in closet from Get Together, which brings me to my next point. Okay, so this pack 
right? Growing together and get together go so well together. I don't know if they did this intentionally, but I did use a lot of items on the exterior, like that debug fence, um, that stone fence out there. That is from Get Together. And honestly, wow. Even just looking through the catalog, I was like, a lot of this stuff would go very well. I think the doors I use on the, like the indoor doors, interior doors for going room to room, I think those are also from Get Together and the wood swatch matched almost perfectly to like the doors I used for the exterior doors. So that is definitely on my list to do is a Get Together and Growing Together build plus base game obviously. But I don't know, I, did they do that on purpose with the naming or did they just forget that get together was the name of their pack i don't know i would love to know that so uh not that any sim gurus are listening but you know what's the deal <laughs> what is the deal anyway these backpacks are so cute there's so many cute little clutter items and here i'm struggling to pick out curtains so we just go with the eco lifestyle curtains that i use in the downstairs like rooms and things and yeah, like I said, we're now picking out some busier wallpaper because in a bedroom, I feel like that just pops and helps with getting the personality. So we got these flowers, but this is the bedroom for the little girls that I imagined were living here. And they could be twins. They could be a year or two apart. I, I didn't think that far, but I don't know. I thought it was cute. And these are the ones who are doing all the chalk and stuff I did put like the same decors on the walls so I I imagine maybe the girls got creative one day and threw all over their walls like we all used to do as kids and the parents were like oh no we're gonna get you some chalk and you guys can do this outside so that was where my mindset was for the storyline and the backstory and now I'm just trying to find more clutter a lot of it I wasn't liking. Um, I do have to admit this is the last room I finished and at this point it was almost 1am and I am not used to staying up past 11. So I was really starting to feel it at this point. But I wanted, I really wanted to get it done so that it would be ready to go and I wanted to share it with you. Anyway, that's the end of our video. Enjoy the upcoming tour and I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things and I will see you next time. Bye!